and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Eve Hemingway and I've been living in Vietnam for about a year and a half now with my Vietnamese partner and my three-year-old son. So in this video, I'm going to give you a overview of the plans for the metro system here in Saigon. I'm going to show you some clips around the city, showing you what's going on now, and then give you some of my final thoughts on the construction process and relating that to the coronavirus and the economy right now. But before we get into it, it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe and also check out my other content around Vietnam and yeah, what it's like living here as a foreigner with a Vietnamese partner and my child. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first of all, I want to get into a bit of the history of the metro and talk about a little bit of controversy around the building of it. As some of you might already know, the proposals for the plan to build the metro line go all the way back to 2001. And now, almost 20 years later, they are still building line one. So, as you can probably guess, the general public and the media have a lot of criticism for the metro line. Sumitomo, the Japanese corporation that is building the metro line, has been talks in the media about them pulling out numerous of times over the years, and the most recent one actually being in 2019, because of the late payments from the Vietnamese government. But yeah, this is all from what I've read and what I've heard from the locals around the city. So whether you're a local that has lived here all your life or a foreigner like me, I am interested to see what you think of this metro line. Definitely leave a comment down below. But yeah, with all that being said, now let's talk about what's going on now. So if you saw any of my videos on the coronavirus and how Saigon or Vietnam has handled it, then you will know that I talked about the local businesses closing down and how it did have a big impact on the economy. But recently, shops have been opening up and people are traveling trying to keep the economy afloat here in Vietnam. But when you drive down Chung Jin Street, there are many businesses that have shut down and shops are struggling to open. And that is because on this street, the houses and buildings are being knocked down. Ready for the metro line. There's signs saying that this is for line two, which I think is the longest line as it does go all the way out to Gucci. So Beihien intersection, where they are knocking down all the houses, is here on the map. From what I've heard, this part is going to be the underground and somewhere here is going to be one of the main stations since there's two lines passing through it. So the first of the recent knocking down buildings in this area started with this public school which we assume is where the station is going to go because this is right on the intersection. It says here that phase two is 14.5 kilometers and 8.9 of that is going to be underground. But also this is from what I've read. So I'm not completely sure if this part is going to be the underground or overground because it does seem weird that they are knocking down houses here, but also that could be because they want to extend the path for pedestrian walkways. And if you live here in Saigon, you know that it is impossible to walk on the paths alongside busy streets because there is literally no pathway 
usually houses or businesses use this area to park their bikes so yeah um, maybe that's why they're extending the path I do hope that this is the reason for pedestrian walkway because if they're gonna have a metro obviously people are not gonna have bikes unless their thoughts is to have just loads of grab bikes when you get off the metro maybe they've not thought that far ahead surely they have but yeah we'll we'll see so going back to the buildings being knocked down in this area I believe that the owners have known this for a long time because it would have been in the plans and you could see on this street with government owned buildings they had already moved in to create this bigger path nevertheless it it must suck to have to have your building knocked down so I really do hope they are getting a lot of compensation for this although I bet there are people that refuse to knock down their buildings and then they end up with this really awkward house just in the middle of the street so according to Wikipedia and some articles that I read the original plans had two monorails maybe they have got rid of that idea i really hope they have because when i think of a monorail in a city i always think of that simpsons episode and from that we know that it just definitely doesn't work also looking at other cities around the world that have got a metro system it's just it's just really inconvenient, it's slow and honestly I think we should just leave monorails in the theme park. But yeah, we will see in the future whether they decide to go ahead with the monorail idea. There has also been an announcement that they have brought in the trains, so there are brand new trains currently sitting in Saigon right now, which makes me think that they are going into the right direction of actually going ahead with the plans rather than it being a standstill like it has been over the past 20 years. If you've been to the center recently, you might have noticed that they are building a new bridge and this bridge is going to be called Two Team Two or Two Team High. So this bridge is going to connect District 1 and District 2 and they also plan to make this a pedestrian walkway so you exit station and then you can walk over the bridge and yeah I really hope that they do make this a pedestrian walkway because as I said already there definitely needs to be more places to walk in Saigon. So my final thoughts on the metro line. So in the one and a half years that I've lived here and over the past four years of me coming here to visit I have noticed that now in the middle of 2020, also in the middle of a global pandemic, construction seems to be going at its fastest rate. I do think that it is a little bit strange that the rest of the world's economy is very low at the moment and I guess other countries are trying to do everything they can to boost their economy. And as you might know, Vietnam has been under the spotlight for Prezel during the coronavirus because they have handled it really well and I constantly see people talking on Twitter that Vietnam is the best economy right now although I do Mm, I'm not quite sure about that we did just travel to Hoi Ang if you saw the vlogs and it was a lot quieter and yeah they are trying to boost the economy by getting people to travel so yeah maybe maybe the fact that Vietnam is being looked at and praised maybe that's what's made the government think well actually we can really develop Vietnam but I honestly do think that once the borders open up again there are going to be a lot of people coming to visit Vietnam which of course will bring in a lot of tourism and a lot of foreign businesses wanting to set up here but yeah what are your thoughts on this fast track 
construction at the moment. Do you think that they are going to reach this new deadline of line two being finished by the end of 2020? Just let me know your thoughts and opinions on the Metro line. Again, I really hope you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.